feels like quite a lot has happened over the past two weeks, but I'll leave that for viewers to judge. Uh, but I'm going to start today in uh, one of the rooms that's almost finished. So uh, you can see here the walls are no longer uh, kind of a white plastery colour, but uh, kind of a natural, slightly brown tone. And this is in the office, which I think gives a nice contrast, but also complements the colour of the wood and the white ceiling. Uh, so really, all that needs to be done here is to uh, get the floor in and get a door in and get some proper lights and this room is finished. Uh, the window sills, which uh, two weeks ago I'd been building and had fitted roughly, uh, they've now all been sanded and varnished three times and uh, properly fitted and uh, a cruel mastic sealant around the edges so it's all quite neat and stable. <coughs> that had all to be done before the painting could begin. So that's all done everywhere on the first floor. If we go into the uh, bedroom, they're all properly fitted now. This one is also ready to paint now. Uh, maybe just some tidying up work to do in the trim around here that I finished off yesterday. Uh, but let's go to the biggest shocker, <laughs> into the kitchen. Don't get a fright now. So for the kitchen we chose uh, a green colour. So the fronts, the kitchen fronts are kind of vanilla cream colour and originally we thought okay we'll have a similar colour on the wall, something kind of neutral and kind of warm tone. But then we realised that if you have uh, vanilla kind of walls and vanilla fronts on the kitchen units, it kind of blends into blandness. And we did have a kitchen in a place where we lived before where we had the walls painted a extreme green. I mean, okay, it's nothing to do with being Irish or something, but really green. And it worked brilliantly, but they were anthracite, uh, kind of lava grey colour. And the contrast worked fantastically. But we looked at some photos and looked over the internet at, for ideas. And we thought this kind of breakfast room green uh, would fit really well with the oak countertop and the kind of creamy front so that there's a bit of contrast but also well we like green. I got a fright with this green because it's so oh, it's really quite bright but um, I think once the floor is in which is going to happen next week and uh, there's furniture in and things on the walls I think this will be a quite an inviting room. Uh, so really yeah next week the floors come in in two weeks the kitchen will be installed and then we just need to pick the lights and get a door and the kitchen's finished. This is a major milestone. We can start making cups of tea over here. <clears throat> and then in the living room, yeah, this is just about ready to paint. All the sills are now fitted, uh, which as I said last time, makes it very homely looking. Very pleased with this big deep sill for putting decoration on, that type of thing. Uh, so yeah. Just the painting to do, floor, door, lights, and then this room is finished. Uh, but speaking of the floorboards, we got an offer uh, just yesterday. I, I hadn't checked the email in days. Uh, we got an offer for our floorboards. So if I order uh, tomorrow being Monday, uh, they will arrive in two and a half weeks. So let's go, go, go. And uh, yeah, in the hall, uh, finally got around to uh, putting some clay plaster into these panels uh, so it looks less raw. If we take a look just quickly up at the top of the stairs, that's what it looked like beforehand. Uh, so I've run out of clay plaster, we have to order some. It might take a while to get it and get a pallet of it or something. And uh, I want to finish uh, the hallway completely and then we, uh, we're ready to paint that so we've got colour and everything for the, oops, for the hallway too. And meanwhile, the stairs, yesterday I started um, sanding off. Uh, so my wife had done the first pass. This was all painted grey, layers of paint, and uh, she got the first coats off uh, with a delta sander with a metal uh, kind of rasp attachment. And uh, yesterday I got at it with the orbital sander. Uh, 60 uh, cornel, as they call it here, um, to get that off down to the natural wood. It's heartbreaking. But uh, I think that'll be worth it. And similarly, on the back of the stairs, this was all covered up before with kind of panelling. Behind the panelling, it looks like that. And then with a first sanding, it's looking more like that. So 
the steps and the, the sides are oak and the risers are, I don't know what, it's a very soft wood. Uh, it's got a little bit wormy and all that, but I guess once it's all varnished uh, from this side, it's gonna look quite nice. And then finally, uh, the bathroom, I finally got to do something in here. So uh, I've skimmed all the walls, uh, got a temporary floor in. It's not secured down because we have to uh, do some plumbing here for the shower base and uh, uh, yeah this has been on the long finger for a while because I'm just not fancying facing this corner here uh, so here's where the sink has to go and maybe some kind of unit for a mirror or something like that but because it's clay you can't really secure anything to it so I've been just trying to, to decide well what are we going to do there uh, so maybe a, like a table with the basin on top of it uh, kind of freestanding with a mirror built in or something like that. We're looking for ideas and uh, what we need to get the finger out. But first things first, let's get the let's get the plumbing done and then uh, we can decide what to do with that wall later. And uh, yeah, that's the update. Lots done, lots more to do.